increase detail with the refine tool. Sometimes when we're sculpting, we just plain don't have enough polygons. So it's hard to get whatever we want to achieve. Uh, and the old workaround was we used to have to subdivide our model, which provided way too many polygons and it shrunk our object. Uh, so uh, to give you an example, let's say I want to make an elk out of this cow and I grab hold of the, the grab and you can see as I pull on his horns, I just don't have enough polygons to make a rack, an elk rack. So I'm going to undo that. I could bust it up so I subdivide it, but now my whole model has way too many polygons and makes the whole model hard to use. So we have a new tool uh, in which we can come down in the sculpt tools and we go to refine. So we're going to choose Refine. Now, I'm going to zoom in onto the area that I'm talking about. I want to add more um, polygons to just this horn area. So I'm going to click on it, and the first thing is I get a, a message that says Generate Tessalization Mesh. So in this case, we're going to triangulate. Um, and so we're going to triangulation is we're going to build uh, a copy of this mesh to get a triangulated copy. We're going to say OK. And now you can see the triangles are built. Now, I'm going to just uh, click right over this with my left mouse. You can see I'm adding in more polygons. Now, out here in the face or in the body, just where I'm clicking. Now, if I zoom in even further, I'll come over on the left side. I get more detail. The further I zoom in, I get more um, uh, more detail as I zoom in closer. So I can just go along here and add where I want it to be. I could add these uh, more meshes. And as I go over them, I even add more and more. Okay. So maybe I wanted to come out here and get to the ends out here. And I'll uh, put this right in the middle of the screen, and I'll put more right on the end of that horn there. So now I have a lot more availability uh, to, let's say, go back to my grab command. And then in my grab command now, I'm able to do some more um, sculpting with having enough of those polygons to do what I need to do. And I can always come back and refine more if I need to. If I come along and I, I need to stretch and stretch and stretch and I don't have enough, I can always come back to refine. And I can come in here and I can go down in here and just click on this and add more and run more uh, polygons as I click. Remember, the, the more I zoom in, the more I get, the more detail I get. Okay, you see how I got a lot more detail when I zoomed in a lot more there. So if I need to work on the tip of the horn more, I need to position it and just boom, add more polygons. As I zoom out, you can see I have not affected the polygons in the rest of my base template. This is a wonderful new tool that's come out in 2018 version of Mudbox. Uh, it's actually in the Service Pack 2 that it came out. And so this is one of the, the top new tools. This allows and solves so many areas. This is particularly helpful in, say, uh, making hair, uh, for example, uh, where we don't have to have all that polygons throughout the rest of the model, but we can get very detailed hair now uh, and allow us to sculpt and shape and mold the hair the way we want. So we can increase the detail as we need in just the areas we want and not have to uh, have too many or too few polygons. So this is the refine button in Mudbox.